just opening it up and finding the checklist. Here's everything that's come out of the box. You've got two Allen keys. That's a five and a six millimeter. They're the only two tools you're going to need. Well, along with a 13 millimeter wrench, everybody should have one of those. That's the two terabyte USB drive. Contains 145 of our 1080p videos, the entire video collection. This is the two meter long printer cable. This is the connection, wired connection to the Lynx trainer. In the event that this isn't long enough, we also supply a five meter cable with a printer cable adapter. This is the AND USB stick that's going to be needed to pick up any sensors that are available on your bike. This is the mains power adapter. Works with 110 or 220 volt, but we only ship the 110 wall plug adapter. And this is the quick release fork mount that needs to get attached to the legs along with the installation instructions for attaching it to the legs. We're going to get to the legs in a moment there in the bottom of the box. This next part's a little bit awkward. It's a two-man operation. We've got to lift the trainer up and set it down on the floor. Now we're going to pop off the end caps. Last items under the styrofoam are the anodized aluminum legs. We're going to pull them out and then we'll undertake to assemble them with the tools we've supplied. According to our instructions, we just have to remove the nut on the top along with the washer and then retract this leg, the rubber puck. We are just going to slide the upright over and with the upright back in place, we put that puck back in. You can use this to adjust the height of your uh, trainer. Sometimes it can be a little bit maddening if the uh, trainer sits just a little bit too high or a little bit too low. Once we've got the desired height, we'll take that and lock it in. And now we're just going to snug up these fasteners on these lips a little bit. We have to do the final adjustment once the trainer is connected to the bike because this is adjustable for various length bikes. But we've set it so that it can't tip. We've also got it in that grooved slotted channel so that it can't fall down and do damage to you or to the bike. Next step is to attach the quick release to the upright plate mount. We're just going to take off these two 10 millimeter nylon nuts, insert this through. Convention says we want to see this on the left hand side of the unit. The other one, and now I'll just tighten these up with that five millimeter Allen key and my 10 millimeter wrench. For shipping, we've got the four fasteners for the leg already in the channel. We're just gonna pull these four out Then we'll bring that leg towards the channel. We'll start to fasten this. We'll get all four of them started and then we'll tighten things up. And at the very end we'll torque these down just a bit. The next step is going to be to plug in the USB cable, the power mains adapter, and the USB hard drive that we took out of the box that gets plugged directly into the computer. So now that everything's installed, all we have to do is calibrate the trainer for the rider's weight of bike and trainer. Bike and rider. Okay, so go ahead and spin the pedal. That's it, there you go. So with the calibration complete and the results saved, we're going to jump over to video and we're going to pick this course in Mallorca. 